Hello. Hey, mommy, ¿cómo está? Yeah, I'm sorry. No, I was working late at the club. Yeah, mommy, don't be like that, okay? I'll be home soon. Look, I, I gotta go. Okay. Mothers being seen in GTA games or even having contact with the characters is little to none. So Luis actually having his mother seen in game tells us a lot about what they tried to show us all these years. On the surface, Luis' mom was just showing tough love or just a concerned parent. But the two relationship at the end of the day sadly was deeper than that. Now before the events we're going to see, the Lopez family already was split apart. Luis' dad left, his mother and his kids are three. Luis was the youngest sibling and on top of that it didn't help he was a spitting image of his dad either. The trouble he got into when he got a tad older showed he was the problem child because of his dad being absent. He went to juvie protecting his older sibling. I mean I got sent to juvie when I was 17 years old for shooting a teacher who felt up my sister. He broke another teacher's arm in a different situation doing the same thing. You a kid who once broke his teacher's arm because the teacher picked on his sister. A fucking teacher! You sick, bro! And as he got older, he got into dealing drugs and becoming a cage fighter. Things he could fit in doing. Saying all this to say, he did everything a mother wouldn't be proud of her son doing. His older brother moved, becoming an accountant with his own family, along with his sister. But these were things she could at least brag on. Them having their own family, they really had no reason to go back. A phone call or an email for them was enough. They didn't even send money. Luis, on the other hand, was the opposite. Although he tried to change, even still doing criminal things, it's shown he never had plans to leave where he's from. One of the reasons being his mother. Maybe you turn your back on where you was from when you was a kid, but that ain't something I can really do. The heights, it's my home, man. Always will be. Nothing's worth shit if I can't go back there. But as we see, he still gets flack. His older brother emails him berating him along with pointing out his mother being worried about him. But we'll see that's not the case fully. The phone call earlier, it was shown he was away for a time because his mother feelings about him. In the email with his sister, Luis even goes to acknowledge he's not liked by her at all. But his sister through this email already starts to tell us a lot. It's revealed his siblings don't do much for their mom, but she still holds them to a higher level for reasons that's about to be shown. Her getting help from Luis, she made that not even be an option. As we know, looking back, she lost her job, so she needed money, of course. Her other two kids didn't do anything for her financially, but she would rather deal with someone that's bad or worse than her only son that would. Aquí está su cafecito. Gracias. ¿Quieres azúcar? No. Mommy, soy yo. Ay, Luis, hey, hijo, ¿quieres un cafecito? Sí, un ching. Un ching. Uh, Luis, this is Mr. Santos. What's going on? Hey. I guess I didn't recognize you from your mom not having any pictures of you up on the walls. Yeah, I guess she doesn't have any up. Here is shown how far she went to hide Luis in a way. Him not having any pictures up is telling a lot. In my opinion, looking like his dad plays a part in this, even being a thing, along with showing how she never accepted Luis's life. Now you mentioned it. I guess mug shots don't sit along too well with graduation shots. Hey, who the fuck are you? But that didn't mean Luis would still take to hear disrespect regarding her. Luis even went to say how she could have asked for money, but she again rather another criminal help than take help from her son. Well, it's complicated. Mr. Santos is a businessman. It's not that complicated when you think about it. You see, your mother here has been making that classic American mistake. In other words, she's been living beyond her means. Hey, bro, be polite when you talk about my mother, man. I'm being very polite. I mean, you know you could have came to me for money. But what would you do to get it? Yeah, I wouldn't borrow it for a piece of shit like this. Be careful, kid. I could have you killed. Oh, I'm real scared of you, motherfucker. She even told the long shark about Luis, but he seen the things in Luis she didn't. You know, you really are a piece of shit. I'm a businessman, and trust me, it could get a lot worse, my friend. Now calm the fuck down. Your mother told me about you. Maybe you can help me pay off your mother's debt. That way this building doesn't have to come to an unfortunate end. Yeah, okay. Before Luis leave though, they will have something telling in their last words. Okay, let's go. Nice to see you, Miss Lopez. Luis, be careful. Yeah, it's a bit rich coming from you. This was of course Luis pointing out her hypocrisy, being careful could apply to her as well. But his response to her continues to show us something telling. You ought not to judge me, Luis Lopez. You're just like your father. Her identifying Luis to be like his father, the guy who left them, shows the build-up resentment she had of this happening. 
she never came to terms with it. But again, with Luis not being what she wanted as far as him doing something to brag about, on top of looking like the man, Luis was the person, sadly, she could take her anger out on. And if that wasn't bad enough, whatever Luis tried to do, it was still used against him by his mother. If he loses, like what was intended, Long Shark Guy tries to call him out for even putting his mother in this position. He claims he was there for her more than Luis was, but Luis only could do what she let him do. Before she was unemployed, I doubt she even asked Luis for anything. But what he was told about Luis was from someone who despised him. So of course, this is why he's even comfortable saying this to his face. You know you did the right thing. Nice to see a man like you swallow his pride for his mama. Just stay the fuck away from him, okay? You got your money. We done. Listen to me. I was there for your mama when you weren't. I think you must have lost some brain cells in that fight. Yeah, if I see you again, I'll kill you, bro. I'm out. Luis calls her to tell her what happened to when she basically loses it. This phone call was her trying to down Luis. He wasn't like his other siblings, so him doing what he does, she uses him losing to shame him in a way. Hijo. I took a dive in that fight for you, mommy. You don't know that guy any more money. What do you mean you took a dive? Do you mean you lost? When Luis explains to her he had to lose, something else is shown that is telling. You claim to be some big shot, and you can't even win a fight for your mama? I lost a fight for you, mommy. I didn't ask you to lose no fight. Her saying she didn't ask him to lose was her saying she didn't ask for his help, even though her life could have been at risk. It's almost like she implied she would have been handed the worst instead of Luis getting her out of her mess. But again, if that wasn't bad enough, she followed it up with saying this. I did not ask for losers in my family. Her not asking for losers in her family, in a way is her showing regret in even having Luis, especially with how their dad left them. But for Luis, his mom was still his mom. Before we even see how the two interact, their relationship was always like this. You know what? Forget about it, ma. Just don't go borrowing any more money. See you soon. What the fuck? You know how much money I had on that fight? You're a fucking dead man. I'm gonna bring that bitch mom of yours too. Y'all don't think you are, tough guy. This little game's over for you. He does the opposite of something she seemed to be against. She didn't think Luis is being cocky to when she of course tries to downplay him, even in what he does. My boy, what have you been doing? I've been taking care of things for you, ma. That guy ain't coming around no more. Don't worry about it. What kind of attitude is that to give your mama? Do you think you're something special? The fact she doesn't tells us more of how she genuinely doesn't like Luis. She claims to know the real Luis, but again, what she thinks she knows is all projection. Sadly, Luis seemed to be hurt by his mom saying this, but he swallows it and continues to help when he could. Like some baseball player? Like some gangster? I mean, I didn't imply anything like that. You organize parties, Luis. You're a bouncer? Don't act a big shot with me because I know who you are. Mommy, you don't know me. The most important people in the world come to our clubs, and I look after them. I am something, and I look after you. I'll see you soon, okay? Bye. Around this time, Luis wasn't around much, but he started to once he visited his mother. In this next encounter, he's with his best friends. But here we see more about what their relationship consists of. Hey, whatever, man. My mate! Luis! Boys! Hey, mommy, hey, How Zero. are you, boys? Hey, Hi, Luis. Oh, you look tired. Hey, mommy, I've been working, you know. I do know. That's the problem. Him working is a problem for her for the fact of what he does. Yeah, my son is a bodyguard for a homosexual. See how that can be a thing? In reality, though, Whatever Luis was wanted to do was supposed to be supported, especially after he cut off certain things to even get to this point. She was so against what he does at this point, she brings up another option she can respect and again brag on. When you're going back to school... Uh, mommy, por favor. I hear you're going back to school, Armando. I'm doing an MBA, Mrs. L. Mm. Luis and Armando growing up with each other, I'm pretty sure she knows his mother. She uses what she heard to try and get Luis to follow his friend. But we know the real, Armando was a slinger with no plans to change. She believed his life for the fact she made it in her mind what Luis done for himself is nothing. So hearing another kid doing something she would want her son to do, even if it was a lie, would continue to make her think Luis was a failure. The sad part about it though, he's still a provider for her regardless. Hey, let's go. I mean, I gotta go. Okay, but here, take this. Grab it. <laughs> Luis, take your life more seriously, baby, please. Don't be like your father. The fact she brings up his father for the second time again shows that resentment again. What did he do other than leave her that's so bad for her to keep saying this? 
It's the fact Luis is still around, as crazy as that seems. Everything she does and says shows she used to being left. Her man did it, along with her two kids. Armando even applied it partially while they're leaving. Look at your brother, look at your sister, they're doing so well. Mommy, I know, but what do you expect? I gotta hang out with morons like these two, okay? Bye. Let's go. Morons like us, eh, my brother? Ah, you know how mommy is. Oh, like a woman that's been abandoned by her children? Okay. Something a little off topic, we see how his mom takes a toll on him. Yusuf Amir brings up his frustration with his parent, with Luis agreeing, but without getting into it, just agreeing. Dada's meeting some bankers in the exchange. Luckily for us, this stuff is too serious for Yusuf to be invited. He thinks I'm waiting for him in the lobby. They're parents, man. Ha, tell me about it. They think they can run your life. In their last scene encounter, she's seen feeding Amando and Enrique. This is fine on surface, but when Luis slightly calls it out, instead of offering him a plate, she just explains why she's feeding him. Armando and Enrique are there though, so of course she's pitting on this act in a way. Thank you, Michelle. Mm. Ooh, ooh. Mommy! It's me! Ah, oh, hello, baby! Hola, mommy, ¿cómo está? Hi, hi. Yo, yo, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? Ay, Dios mío, mommy, pero que es esto? You're always taking care of the down and outs. Hey! Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful thing, but you gotta let him into the house. Aww. Mm -hmm. These are my boys, baby, just like you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I watched them grow up. She might have watched them age, but the grow up part, no. They still did the same things they were doing for years. She didn't want to see that, though. Luis, of course, takes offense, leading him to have the two leave. But when the two were left alone, the act she played in front of them left out the window. Yeah, well, apparently your boys and your real son got some work to do. So, ladies, we got to roll. Okay. Uh, Come on, let's go. Mm, 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 mm. Mrs. L, you still the best cook I know. Mm, mm, mm. Notice how she's watching Armando leave. She knows Luis is about to give her money. But keep in mind of everything. She didn't even want Luis to help financially until she was forced to, which is why she's trying to hide receiving it. But although he's giving her this, she again still didn't like where it came from. She would then bring up a recurring thing, which was to go to school or just go anywhere. But the thing was, everything Luis got into, as far as his career opportunity, a thing he wanted to do, even if it wasn't the greatest as we saw it, he's seen it to be his way out. This hospitality shit, it's my thing now. I know people and people know me. I can get things done in this town. He even went to say how this is the best thing for him, but she still didn't understand, causing Luis to finally break, like the phone call prior. Here you go, mommy. Take this, okay? Take care. I gotta go. Take okay? care. You take care, son. Dealing drugs, people getting killed, nightclubs. You take care. Go to school. Be, go somewhere. It's not too late, my baby. I mean, but you got it all wrong. I mean, it's not like that anymore. You know, I, I know good people, I know bad people, you know, but I know the difference. I mean, I know I made mistakes, but things are better now. I mean, how many times we got to go over this? If things are better now, then why are you always like this? It's like this partially because a lot he put up with her. He knew he had to man up after their dad left on top of his siblings leaving just for him to be ridiculed about his new life choice. Not to get off topic again, but Luis went through the same thing Sweet went through when Beverly was alive. You keep yapping on what you done did, let me tell you what I done did. When Kendall needed shoes, I went out and got the money. When moms needed operation, I robbed people for the bread. Why you off in Liberty City thinking about your own shit? But Luis will call out the fact what he's doing is helping, something she didn't want to accept. All right, but you take the money, right? You take the fucking money every time. Get out of my house. All what right. choice do I have? I lost my job. Her revealing this in a way is her deflecting what Luis actually does for her. But Luis would give her an alternative she knows that never was a thing. Yeah, well, call one of the other kids, the one you ain't ashamed of. Mondo tried to call Luis out, claiming all Dominican mothers are like that. Oh, man, you gotta let up on your mom. Oh, yeah, te oigo. But, bro, she rides me too hard, man. Hanging downtown made you forget who you is, El. What you mean? I mean, you a fucking Dominican. All Dominican mamas ride their hijos like that. But he's wrong. He gets the same beratement for the fact he's someone his mom can't brag on either. It doesn't matter how you paint it, that's not a normal thing for a mother to do, especially for someone who helps and does something that could benefit the family. This could happen in any race. Armando just didn't know any better. I don't think being compared to your father that scorned her on top of constant beratement is a normal thing. Armando just didn't know any better, being that things like this is a cycle. You grow up thinking things that is really messed up is normal. And the sad part about Luis's mom 
Contrary to proper belief, she didn't have the crab in a barrel mentality. She never tried to hold Luis back. A real example of that was his friends. Problems stemmed from of Luis's past. She was the last person to think Luis would be anything. Him even getting his pilot license was a good thing for him. But his life was always things she was against. And this was the person who paid her bills down the line. From the dad leaving, along with her two kids doing the same, she became used to that. That became the norm. So Luis staying and made her feel like he was doing something wrong. It didn't help he looked like his father, along with making his own destiny either. He still had love for his mother, and the same could be said about her. But their relationship got dark all because no matter what the troubled child did, she still had her mind made up about him. So him changing was something she refused to accept. She used her kids almost like award pieces, but the one that was basically counted out still was able to provide without leaving. On top of her issues with his dad, left a sour dark relationship with the two.